Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call to the community. We didn't have anybody last week, and we don't have anybody this week, do we? Um, we could be wrong. Somebody right can. <laughs> Unless it's Kyle. Maybe he was able to make it. <laughs> the man, right, of, the man of many duties. Hey? <laughs> hey, it never hurts to help is what I say. <laughs> Your paycheck's in the mail. <laughs> <We saw. laughs> Do you think that was him leaving? That was probably him think? leaving, but we'll double check. Better safe than sorry. It's called delegation, right? <laughs> yeah. First soccer practice tonight. Sweet. Mm. What, what's the team color? Blue, blue, and blue. You know how they tell you, like, the three? You guys have been, like, flushing yellow for a few years in a row. I'm glad to see that go. <laughs> yeah. We we won't be, have a part-time, like, crossing guard color job. You know what I mean? <laughs> With the blue, blue, blue. Okay. <clears throat> Response to call of the community. We had no call of the community last week, so we can move on. All right. Staff reports. Public works. Mr. Kyle Ames is not with us tonight. So how do we handle that, Tricia? Do you want to try and take it, or do we just wait until next month? I would just say that his report is in your agenda, and if you guys have any questions on it, I would say to reach out directly to Kyle to follow up. Was Kyle going to talk about anything relevant to the painting of the trees or anything like that? Or he is and that... I did have a chance to speak briefly about that today. So, so when we get can, to it, we yeah. can discover. Okay, cool. Community and Recreation Services Monthly Report, presenter Tricia Kramer, Director of Community and Recreation Services. Thank you, Chairman Taddy and Commissioners. Um, March is off to a good start. Uh, the Arizona Dolphins swim team, I told you last month that they were considering um, coming to uh, practice temporarily at our facility, and they have started that. Everything is going well. They're actually out there right now tonight. And um, from brief conversations, they're actually interested in the possibility of doing it more often. So because things are going so well with us, there might be an opportunity um, for some partnerships in the future with them. So that would be great. Um, spring lifeguard class, our first one is coming up tomorrow. Um, we've got uh, young participants in that class. and. Uh, 12 lifeguard applicants, and actually I think it's 14 at the moment, and uh, five new applicants, 14 returners, five new applicants. Um, so we're excited to uh, get in the hiring mode for that. They'll start uh, the first round of interviews this weekend uh, for some of the rehires that they're looking to rehire. Um, preschool open enrollment is off to a good start. Um, also, uh, our uh, summer camp is going well. I know I reported uh, nine campers in June and nine in July. That's up to by a few since um, my report, so also great. Um, they'll be off next week along with the uh, Litchfield Elementary School District kids. Um, for community services, we've got our next flag raising ceremony coming up on March 15th. Um, in honor of the Merchant Marines, members of the uh, American Legion Post um, in Avondale will be coming out and serving as the flag detail. So if you guys are available that morning at 8.15, I would uh, encourage you to stop on by for the flag raising ceremony. Um, we are working on appropriation applications. Those should be going out at the end of the month. And uh, garage sale uh, signups are uh, in the works. They're going well. Um, 
I'll jump briefly to special events. Uh, Spring Art and Wine Festival was this past weekend. The weather was fantastic. The crowd was great. The artists and vendors were very happy. So if any of you made it out and uh, were part of that, thank you very much. It was uh, a great, great time, great event. Um, and uh, this coming weekend on Sunday the 12th, Thaddeus Rose is coming out to the Wigwam Front Lawn from 3 to 5 p.m. Should be a very popular concert. Also, free concert. Please join the community. Come on out. And uh, sports, I will uh, let Pat fill you in on any updates from my report. Um, thank you. So um, sports is uh, going well. We just finished our spring coaches meeting on Saturday and practices started this week. Uh, we have th uh, 746 kids totaled registered in the three sports. So we have um, 309 in basketball, 345 in soccer, and 92 in flags. So this is definitely one of the, the biggest years. Last year we had 695, and that was our biggest year since 2015. So it's just, yeah. it keeps going up, and soccer, the interest in soccer has definitely increased in this year than it hasn't previous. So it's good to see there. Um, we're excited for the season to get started. Um, and then on the t February 25th, we had the uh, Kiwanis Litchfield Park run. Uh, we had uh, 441 uh, registrants um, bef beforehand, and I think it ended up being the, that same thing uh, during the day off. So it was a great weather for everyone to come out and do the run. Um, we, had, we heard some great things, and you know, I saw a couple, a couple of you go out there and share people on or even mm -hmm. run in it. So um, I think everyone had a great day. So. Yeah, I think we had several commission members and family. I think we were all there. there. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> I don't remember. So that was fun. Did you have the dog? I have, I have the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. excuse yeah. We just bring the dog, yeah. and then we're yeah. like, I'm dog sitting in. Yeah. 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 But yeah, Brian Colbert ran. Yeah. Did you medal? I think you did. You A Colbert did uh, medal. It was my you. daughter and my wife medaled. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> I was fourth and made. That was, that was awesome. That's, that's I'll be great. I'm fourth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my age. That's important that he was out there. Yeah, good answer. Yeah. But no, everyone seemed to enjoy themselves, so. That's it from Rick, unless you guys have any questions. Can you send a, are you, maybe you did it already, and I apologize if you did. Can you send an invite for the March 15th? Um, did you say it was a flag raising? Mm -hmm. Did I have the, is that the right date? Uh, these aren't my normal yeah. glasses, so I'm... I'll, I'll double check with um, Jenna Huffman uh, at City Hall and confirm whether the RPG commissioners are on that list, and if not, we'll get you guys on the invite list so you have advance notice of those. Excellent. Yeah. Commissioner Gertz? Thanks. Um, just curious, are we... Out of pure curiosity, really, um, the appropriations that we we gave out last year. Mm -hmm. do, do you ever know who those are? Or can we see a list of who those are? I'm just kind of curious what kind of organizations that's yeah. going to. Yeah, absolutely. I can give you a list, or we can, you can see them online. I can email oh, they're them online. to you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can look on the city website and find appropriations and find them. Yeah. Okay. That's yep. good enough. Thanks. It's uh, twenty thousand dollars total that the city has available um, to out at the commission at the council's choosing thank you thank you business approval of minutes presenter Trisha Kamer director of community and recreation services thank you chairman taddy um, the minutes for the February 9th meeting are in your agenda packet. Um, if anyone needs a moment to look them over, feel free to do so. And then whenever you guys are ready, um, if you would like to move to approve or move to amend. I move to approve the February 9th minutes. I'll second that. Are there any questions about the minutes? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? So we pass. Did I, did I sign last month? Did I forget? I have it here. Sorry.
The Art of the Quarter Selection presenter, Tricia Kramer, Director of Community and Recreation Services. Thank you, Chairman Taddy. Um, you'll see in the agenda packet, there is a tally sheet. Um, we did have a quorum of votes. Uh, the two uh, nominees were 14564 La Jolla Drive, with a total of 152 points, and 4717 Al Aldea Drive East, with a total of 145 points. Um, so I would recommend that uh, the commissioners move to uh, recommend 14564 La Jolla Drive, which had the most votes as yard of the quarter for the first quarter of 2023. I don't think we need a motion for that, right? We could just... Well, you would move to recommend that council... Approve? Award it? Um, award it, essentially, okay. or recognize them. So we do need a motion. I'll move that uh, council recommend La Jolla Drive as the yard of the quarter. I'll second. Are there any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? So it is passed. Is that also the one that has two nominations? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's funny how it's yes. uh, hundreds of houses. <laughs> Very random. <laughs> yeah. Two. Yeah. Revamping of Yard of the Quarter presenter Andy Phillips, yeah. RPG Vice Chairperson. Thank you again for um, listening to me about Yard of the Quarter, but um, the Yard of the Quarter program has been as it is right now for over 20 years, at least 20 years, probably more like 25 years. Um, and so that was like before social media, it was really early internet, and lots and lots has changed since its inception. Um, I would like to let it evolve. I'm proposing that we don't do away with something that honors our pride, our community pride, our individual pride, the pride that we take in everything in the city from our programs, our people, our services, to our own homes, yards, features in those. Um, I just feel that for a number of reasons, it's time to maybe abandon the old format and let's see what a new format could look like. I've come up with a few ideas and they're just ideas. Um, I just think that we still need to focus on the pride factor because that's one thing that makes us special and I'm saying pride in a good way, not like you know, being a show off or anything like that, but pride in a good way. Um, personally, I feel as commissioners, we should not be as directly involved that it shouldn't be based on our personal likes, dislikes, all of that, because none of us, as far as I know, have any professional degrees in any field that has anything relevant to do with you know, selecting a yard of the quarter winner based on the categories that are in there other than what we personally like and don't like. Um, I think we should aim to be more inclusive. I think we should be more citizen and community driven. Um, needs a new name maybe, and maybe we don't even have winners. Maybe we highlight things and there's not winners per se. Um, I have even come up with um, an idea, and just you know, humor me a little bit here, that if we abandoned the um, current format and went to something where citizens submitted their own whatever it was, and I've got categories for each quarter, then we are kind of out of the picture of picking, you know, this and this and this. And I would even go so far as to suggest that we don't do winners, and I haven't quite figured out how all of this could work yet, but that we then, uh, through our social media, our website, all of that kind of stuff, we um, highlight the people who have submitted their homes or their features or whatever it is on our website to social media saying, wow, look at this, you know, 
So the um, categories that I have for each quarter are winter, which would be January, would be welcome. So it would be like front doors, entryways, street view, sidewalks, that kind of thing. In the spring, which is April, it would be green thumb. Gardens, grassy areas, both natural and artificial, flowers, flower pots. It could even be desert landscaping, that kind of thing. So you could have like a xeriscape or arid landscaping or something like that. Summer, July is splash. Water features, spas, pools, fountains, that kind of thing. Fall, October, sit a spell, barbecue areas, sitting areas, gazebos, fire pits. So we've even um, gotten, I don't know if you guys know Chuck Emmert, you know, he's now doing all our cool drone stuff. He's and amazing. Yeah, I mean, he did it for the city of Phoenix, so he knows what he's doing. But he's even interested in, you know, maybe if I submit my fire pit area for the fall one where it's a sit -a spell, maybe there's something in the submission that says, would you be okay if Chuck Emmert flew the drone over? Or they could also submit a photo of, that they took of themselves, not of themselves, they took themselves of their area that they were submitting. So, I mean, those are just thoughts that I kind of came up with. I've been trying to think of a clever name and don't have that yet. Um, but I would just invite all of you to put your thinking caps on. Uh, this isn't an action item for today. It's just like information discussion. Um, but I would just invite all of you to try to come up with something that's just a little bit more 2023, not 1983. Um, and I'd love to hear your ideas. <laughs> We're all processing. Yeah, yeah. There's so much space things come in. Commissioner Gertz. Thanks. Um, I just wanted to, to think about what, what are we trying to achieve? And, and Andy, I think you've, you've highlighted that we do want people to have the good kind of pride. We probably want to motivate people. And it's like, well, that's great. I could do that in my yard. So I think if we just maybe start with enumerating the things that we want to achieve by this, right? We want to encourage people to beautify their yard so that we overall have, a, have a, a, you know, a more beautiful community to look at. And yeah, recognize people for the effort they put in. So I think the things you propose, though, like I know it, I haven't thought fully through them, I think are all in that same vein, so I think that's the, the right direction. Um, and I, I do think we should figure out how to include, um, like say the condos or areas mm -hmm. that they don't, hey, look, you, you've got what, like 30 square feet in some cases to work with in the front, so winning yard of the quarter is probably not gonna happen unless we have something right. that's more targeted towards either that that kind of dwelling well, or that's why something some or of these categories. Yeah allow that because some of those condos along the lake and some of the other ones, they have really nice sitting areas or they've got done a mm -hmm. great job with colorizing through pots and flowers. But we don't see that when we drive by in the front and go, oh, that's a really cool house. Right. I, know, I recommended one of those houses one time for the yeah. yard of the quarter for the backyard. But nobody caught on that it said go to the back. I remember that. Yeah. I, like, I went to the front yard. I was like, the <laughs> yeah, You know, and we can't see maybe their pool, spa, waterfall area because it's in their backyard. But so I think, I don't know. It just, I think it just opens it up to some of those um, homes and condos and stuff that just we would never see. We would never get to appreciate what they've done because it's not visible from a street view. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of work and gave a lot of thought to this. I appreciate that. Um, you know, the first time I drove through our community, probably 17 years ago, um, I saw a yard of the quarter sign, and I have never lived anywhere where I've ever seen that. And to this day, I haven't driven through a community where I've ever seen another yard of the quarter sign. And I work up in surprise. I don't see that in any communities up there. And I 100% I agree that we could be more inclusive with like the condos and things like that. But what makes Litchfield Park special is the nostalgia. It is the 1963 or 1983, and that, that's part of why I love living here, is because it's not 2023. And so I, I worry about throwing out the old. But is there a way to incorporate new as well? Do you know what I mean? And, and you know, I would be in favor of it also. I would hate to replace this. I think it is something that does keep us back in the 80s, which is a good thing in a lot of ways. 
for those of you who are live. <laughs> so I came up with a couple, a couple things, restore and explore, because people are restoring these homes. They're restoring their yards. They're bringing them back to life, and they're doing that on a seasonal basis, right? And then exploring, some of it has to be done by Chuck with a drone. Um, so I, I guess that would have to be maybe weighed all online so that voters, residents, commissioners could all see the applicants, whether they submit it or Chuck does it for them um, and vote that way. I mean, I think we can still keep the yard of the quarter and break it down into how it's presented. Maybe if we have, if we do a, maybe there's an and, right? Maybe there's a way that we can do, like we keep the yard of the quarter, but if we get a more, say, digital or online way of having people submit and look at things, if that takes off, maybe it comes to a point where we go, why are we doing this other thing anymore? Um, but then we sort of could hedge our bets and say, well, the risk of going, like, let's have people submit it um, or people vote online and we're not the ones deciding it, is that the adoption's pretty low. Um, and then we're, we're looked at where, you know, maybe we have 10 people participating. So we, maybe we can do both. Um, I like the change that we made. I don't remember how many years ago it was where we said, like, okay, hey, let's divide the city up into quadrants mm -hmm. because there's areas that you don't live there, you don't drive there, you don't think of the yep. houses. Yeah. You know, if, if we want to take a, you know, a, a minor step in, in improving it, maybe we need to subdivide it a little bit more. I know it means that we don't get to your area for two years, but it does mean that, okay, now we're looking at the condos and pick a condo for yard of the quarter. Like, I don't know, maybe that's a baby step along the way as well. That's a, that's a reasonable. Yeah. So are like you for like thinking like kind of no. still yard of the quarter, but yet if that quarter is in winter, the theme is winter. Is that what you're thinking? You, you know what I mean? So and then in the summer is the theme summer well, for my, that particular. My summer theme was splash because it's hot in the summer, so mm -hmm. it was just like water. You know, anything to do with water mm -hmm. or cooling off or, you know, maybe they have a cool outdoor shower area that's really neat or something. I don't know. But could we tie those in, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Christmas, sure right, could. Christmas, was July, spring, yeah, Halloween, Thanksgiving. I guess personally, I just have a really, really hard time judging other people's homes. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Right. That's just me. And I hate it. For me, I don't know that I look at it from a broad perspective. I mean, I do, but I know like what sells. So then I look to you know plant health, yes, plant health, multiple plants. Is it appealing? All those things that we're doing, but yet that could also be on a condo, you know, in their small little area. So I think the quadrant thing really was helpful. Yeah, that's um, a lot. But I kind of like the <clears throat> theme of doing it as a as a theme. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Your, your, uh, your idea about restore and explore. I mean, who doesn't like HGTV, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, you know, that would be a, such a cool feature, like on our city web, our city Facebook page or Twitter, or what, you know, whatever the social media we're using is, is hey, you know, here we are in the summer. Submit your water features. I just saw that our historical, historical society has the open houses that are coming up, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe it's the virtual open house where, you know, hey, people are submitting their water features and idea shopping, right? Mm -hmm. And it's the... Litchfield Park version of HGTV kind of thing. And I like the name for it, too. I, I don't know where you stole that from. But, uh, I, I <laughs> thought of it all on my own, actually. Wow. Um, but, she had an article. But, I mean, that would, be, that, would, that would be such a cool addition. Because, really, the purpose of this, is, I, I agree with you, you know, is to get inspire people to take care of their homes, right? And that's we don't have an HOA here. So we have to do it by peer pressure sometimes. We do have it. Yeah, we, well, well we, it's not that we have HOA, we have city codes, and then those city codes are enforced by uh, the code enforcement. But I would ask this question, and I like the way Commissioner Gertz began to phrase what you were saying in the very beginning. I think, well, here's the question. Are we involving the community enough in the art of the quarter as it is mm -hmm. now? No. You and I know that we're not from around here. We noticed the art of the quarter quickly. Right, but are we involving the community enough in Yard of the Quarter? I would like to remove us a little bit and involve our community and our citizens more. 
I lived here for 30 years, and I had no idea it yeah. existed until really. Commission. Oh, I bet you're. I was just going to say because yeah. your family's very involved in the city, so I'm surprised at that. I noticed that I'd ride my bike like or run. Sign, yeah. I'd run and ride my bike on every street in the city, and so, so I'd notice it. You know? That's what I was oh, going to say too. Like with kids, like you're walking your kids around the city, and that's yeah. where you probably see it first. And you're like, this town has your reporter. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're from out of town, for sure. I wonder if there's a way to have you know include. And we can nominate if, if you choose to, and then also maybe include some nominations from online. We tried that one. We got one. I, I feel like mm -hmm. we've tried this a lot yes. to get the community involved mm -hmm. for years, mm -hmm. and it doesn't happen. I tell all of my friends and neighbors, every now and then they'll say, hey, I saw one that you should look at, and then I'll go look and I'll nominate it, but it's maybe two in the last five years. My kids give me half of my nominations. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you I like the think idea. our social media presence is like hitting more people now? Do you think? Is it? Do you? You know? I mean, I don't know. So I don't know what the exact demographics are, but I could say in just my little part of the neighborhood, it seems like there's younger families that have moved in in the last three years, and just from talking to them all, I know that they are all kind of social media savvy, more so than I am. So, well, that's their, that's their way of too. communicating. Yeah. And I'll tell you Hit this, the <laughs> when I heard about what Chuck was doing, I started to follow it. Mm -hmm. And oh, holy man. Moses, so fun. I didn't realize you could, he's got minimal equipment, but his skills are, are so good that the way he presents things, it's pretty impressive. City Facebook page, yeah. I really like the idea to evolve to evolve it in general. I was initially kind of conflicted with expanding it outside of the front yard, thinking like our idea is to the public image, like that's what people see. But to evolve it to current, era, it's maybe online. I mean, people see the whole community. Maybe we can evolve the program to see show off the inside of the houses too, or you know, the backyards as well? I think that, I, yeah. I mean, I just like, if you live in, like, my front yard is just rocks, you know, and mm -hmm. so some people have chosen that, or their house was that way and they can't afford to, ch or don't want to because of yeah. water and stuff, so they've put all of their effort and their time and their money in their backyard, and it's still beautiful and prideful, but nobody else, you know, Yes, Especially yes. in the, the new areas where there's not like a porch. Right, like, mm -hmm. right. The house isn't set up to have a big front yard, it's set up to have a big backyard. Right. So, so then you know, we do have an image online. So then the yard of the quarter sign would need to have like a QR code. Yeah. Right? I'm just thinking all the all, the whole thing through. Mm -hmm. Well, in my so world, there would be a yard of the quarter if sign. It, so. If it's the backyard, they, they're driving their bike by or whatever, they scan it and they can see it. Social media, you know, Chuck. Hopefully Chuck agrees to do all this. And just for the record, I do know what a QR code is. <laughs> you can use your yeah. phone and take a picture of it. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I don't. I think it's. I don't know. Maybe as a step to go, as a step to evolving it, we just add to it. Okay. You know, instead of doing, instead of just scrapping yard of the quarter and replacing it with this, we mm -hmm. just add. Yeah. You know, we're doing yard of the quarter and trying to get someone to submit their backyard online or you know whatever we're trying to add. We can try and use Chuck to highlight this new one that we voted on to try and get Yard of the Quarter as a concept yeah. out to the residents. Maybe we can reach out to the winners and when we tell them we want to put up the sign and invite them to the next council meeting and also say, would you be open to having our social media guy come out and video, photograph, whatever, to kind of push the concept of Yard of the Quarter and that this is something that RPG does for the community. I'd still like to have some more community involvement in the submission part, at least the submission part. I just feel like mm -hmm. we shouldn't be the only ones. We shouldn't be the ones that are picking and voting and then doing the winner. I just feel like 
it's too closed of a circle. What if we did something like, I'm not sure how the nominees come in to play, but if we take, let's say, each time we have three nominees and that that little mm -hmm. corrugated sign goes in the front yard, yard of the quarter nominee with the QR code, and the community can vote. That would be cool. That'd be really cool. We may not get any votes. Like a million, <laughs> That'd be really cool. It's like a million walkers this time of year, too. Yeah. You know, no, I love like that idea. Wow, Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know where the nominees come from. I know. <laughs> Maybe so the QR code, just on the regular sign, might be too, like, hey, here's the website you can nominate. But perhaps as we have other events around the city where people do tend to maybe more so those that have just local, more local than an outside attraction just because mm -hmm. they don't vote for that, um, maybe we have a sign that just features Yard of the Quarter so that people walk by and go, oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. What that? is that, right? Yeah, I mean, that? just the foot traffic at the Wine and Art Festival this yeah. weekend. I mean, you could imagine mm -hmm. how many people would put it right in the center of the circle, right? Yeah. And then probably mm -hmm. a thousand well, I don't know how many people are there. I would guess there were a lot. Um, we bought a vase. Maze vase. <laughs> Once it's so big, you can't call the it. The artist thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It was heavy. Yeah. So we have QR codes on our A-frames at our festivals that um, direct people to, like, event surveys. So we do have that. But at, at the community, the more um, Litchfield Park-centric, ones we can certainly do that maybe even at the concerts um do people put something out there do people scan it and do the survey well we've just started using them oh, okay. so hopefully okay. a couple of times yes so cool. mm -hmm. and i would just say that if we go that route we could try and promote it like you're saying like state of the city even because there's a mm -hmm. lot of residents there for that yeah that's um, what I think. the concerts mm -hmm. other events in the city we could do that and we could do social media mm -hmm. um, to promote it but also maybe we could still nominate as a backup or kind of in conjunct with it. Mm -hmm. That way if we don't get enough nominations or something that we still have something to go off of. I think, I think oops, I'm sorry, go ahead. No. I think the big problem though is we have to rewrite the guidelines behind how many nominees, mm -hmm. how it's going to be done. Mm -hmm. that, that's a bigger task I think at hand. If there's no nominees, do we do three? If there's already three nominees, do we not? And what's our plan B kind of thing? Like, what's our contingency? Yeah, and I, I do think there's, as much as we don't want to pick winners, there's some sort of level of selection that will need to happen, a curation of what's submitted, right? Like if, if I'm angry with my neighbor and the yard looks like trash, I might submit them for yard of the quarter, and that's probably not what we want. Right? <laughs> so I think we'll have to have, like, there'll have to be some filtering mechanism or something. So they wouldn't make it straight to the final. final. Right. They, right. There would be some, and <laughs> perhaps that's them. where our role, right, comes in. So out of these 15 nominations, these five are the ones that are posted. Thank you to everybody else for nominating. Well, and we'll have to, there's other reasons we might remove them, such as they won last time, mm -hmm. right? So I think there's always going to have to be some sort of process to review it. You could also get over nominating. Mm -hmm. I mean if one person just goes out and you know likes fifty houses. I had that thought too, like you would never send Chuck out to right? I mean you can't ask Chuck to go film hundred and twenty houses no. because uh -uh. It, it would have to be a, a level, you know in respect of his time. Well we could just ask our residents to submit their own homes, just like the you know, the, the Christmas. Christmas light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's already guidelines. You could ask your dad how those guidelines were written. And so I will do tell you. Easily, like yeah. you were saying, you know, do the water feature in the summer, do the, the seating areas, and the and those are going to change from year to year with all the renovations that are happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be that would be really cool to expand that. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. It gets recognition out there to people who want to share their, their passions. Did you guys drive past the Christmas lights? So we got them off of um, one of the social media things. Chuck actually is the one who showed me how to look for it. And then uh, when we drove through there, it was so crowded that you couldn't just drive. You had to wait for the cars in front of you to be done looking. 
so that you could then move into their spot and mm-hmm. then you would join. It's pretty incredible. I, w- I was actually really surprised at the crowd that it had. And we were there, I want to say around 9 o'clock at night. So it wasn't like it was, you know, just after dinner. It was mm-hmm. like a few hours after dinner. So are there any other thoughts on this? Or at this point, is it a good place to, like, kind of stop and process for a month and yeah. think through everything that we've talked about? Jot down ideas. And yeah. If I, you know, are there any other questions? <laughs> Final thoughts? Okay. Thank you very much, Vice Chairperson Phillips. You're welcome. Thank you for listening to me again about this. Orange Tree Painting. Orange Tree Painting event updates, pardon me. Presenter Tricia Kramer, Director of Community and Recreation Services. Thank you, Chairman Taddy. Just a couple of brief updates. If you haven't seen it yet, um, on our city um, page, we do have an event posted for the Orange Tree Paintings, um, March 18th and 19th, as you guys said last month. Uh, We'll be doing it from 7.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., we thought that five-hour window was probably appropriate amount of time for volunteers that are out each day. Um, we have received some residents and small groups that are interested in coming out, so we've been getting some um, contact from those interested. And it's up on the website on the homepage under news and announcements. Um, council knows, and if you know of anyone that wants to volunteer, um, just like you guys did last time, bring them. If you know specific groups, if you could let Kyle or I know too, just so we can plan um, for the supplies. But Kyle is going to get the paint and the brushes and whatever paint doesn't get used that weekend, his guys will just continue to use, so that's no big deal. Um, Spoke to Chairman Taddy earlier and um, commissioners that are available will take the lead like you did last time to uh, round up the troops and have them out there doing their thing in quadrants. And Kyle is going to uh, get back to the commission probably by email on any areas that he's hoping that you guys can focus on first and foremost with the volunteers. Um, I guess the only other thing was to check and see which commissioners definitely will be available which days so he has an idea of how many um, supervisors more or less, more or less, will be out there. Can you say the times again? 7:30 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Do you feel like you have enough? Sorry. No, it's okay. Do you feel like you have enough volunteers, or do we, do we desperately need more? Are we in the middle ground? Would right love now? more. Yeah. yeah. We need a small army out there. Yeah. yeah. Commissioner Gertz, do you remember we had a map last time where we had the mm-hmm. quadrants that we sent the teams out into? We would almost, in some cases, I think, start right on the south side and the north side of some quadrants, and they were working <coughs> towards each other. And yeah. Do yeah. Can we dig that map up from email? I'll or? see if I have that. Um, I'm sure I have it somewhere in email. Yeah. I just I haven't looked for it yet. I think Kyle needs to tell us, too, where to, where to start. Kyle probably has a few like, hey, this area yeah. really needs to get hit. Mm-hmm. Like, so, the so, main drive yeah. area. so we could take that map and we could show yeah. it to him and be like, hey, man, tell us what the focus areas are. Last, The only thing I'm thinking is last year we didn't do Old Litchfield Road or two years ago, whenever we did it. We didn't do part of that where the overseeding was The Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts came through and did it a few weeks later once the overseeding had taken hold or whatever, yeah. however you say it. Did we decide we're doing a second one or is this the only one? We're doing two days. But it, didn't we speak last time about another one in the fall? Like a follow-up. Okay. I think, well, I think Kyle said they want to do it once. A year, so whatever we don't get, this, the uh, public works is going to do. Oh, and then they could come right. through after, and yeah. Okay. yeah, I think that's right. Some lock on before the summer. Mm-hmm. I'll get my yeah. base. That'll be my base day, base tan. 
I which is nothing but red. The social media, it's important that the time, like the 7.30 time, they need to be there at 7.30 because mm -hmm. we do this whole, you know, rundown. Of, Little you know, info yeah, session. You can't show up at 10 yeah. and, <laughs> and just expect to yeah. jump in. Yeah. Are you bringing the high schoolers I, again? So I'm not even going to be here on the 18th. I'm going to have to come on the 19th, but I'm, get, I'm going to round up some troops, yeah. Nice. They all need volunteer hours for college. Nice. But next year I'm going to be out of kids because they're all going to be out of college. <laughs> <laughs> the Taddy family will be there. I was going to say we're, somebody we're, else. We're working yeah. on um, Coming up the ranks. neighbors and friends, and I'm hoping to have at least one or two teams represented. I think my daughter... I guess when they get to high school, they just don't want to hang out with you anymore. Is that how mm -hmm. parenting works? So about, just wait until high school. about 14. Uh, yeah. so I think she's going to be rounding up some buddies, too. And, and we start them on the south side, meeting us in the middle or something. So the only other thing that we did last time, Commissioner Gertz and I met with uh, Richard I, once or twice. I think just once. Once or twice. It's a strategy down. Yeah. Yeah. Coordination of scrubbing and mm -hmm. painting a line at the top. Mm -hmm. and he gave me the keys at one point two for the back. There's a back shed, mm -hmm. and he handed over the, My kid the keys. Get <laughs> we went from there. Yeah. You got you got a brush on. You need a brusher and you need a painter. Yeah. Those are the two jobs: brush, paint. <laughs> yeah. Brushing happens first, then the painting. I think most of the kids I had painted their own legs. Well, there's a handprint yeah. by my yeah. house, and that was one of my kids. And she, I don't know how I missed it, and it's still on sidewalk. Thank you, though. Memories. We talked about a T-shirt. I thought that was a done deal. We do not have a budget for a T-shirt. <laughs> we came, we saw, we painted. 2023. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, I would say since you guys beautiful. have named this as an annual event, that perhaps moving forward in this next fiscal year, we can talk to um, the city manager about getting a small budget for um, for that. You know. Yeah, I like that. Why couldn't someone that showed up at ten or eight o'clock jump in? Well, we won't be there. So yeah, it's come. hard so to we, be there. Yeah, we and spread we, out and we just scatter. Okay. So one thing that I thought was super effective. Um, we had three people in golf carts yeah. bruising the town. That so so you, we had like one team on, you know, all the way up north. We had another team yep. south of the lake. And we were able to get water bottles, more paint, yep. like with just quick supplies out to everybody and keep touching base. Hey, how are you guys doing? Okay, well, let's try and get some more people down here then, and we'll have them work from this point towards you or whatever the case. So... It, it was super effective, mm -hmm. and um, I remember I was taking notes on our on our map, right? Where I was like, okay, they just did this part; they're here, and then we could use cell phones to just call around. Hey, maybe um, we could, because there was one team that was struggling a bit, right? And a couple of us were able to notice it, and then we were like, all right, well, maybe they need a little more help on their like south side, but not struggling. They were. They were methodically painting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very diligently. Yeah. They, were, yeah, they weren't missing Each any other. spot on that tree. So, it, you know, and it's a, it was a really fun event, too. I thought it was a blast. I, we even had pizza after, I think, right? Pizza? Ice cream, Ice cream, yeah. Ice cream yeah. sandwiches, that's right. Yep. I bet we could get borrowed and donate pizzas or something. How cool would that be? So you could get, like, fries to donate shirts to or something. Yeah, they put their logo on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something we want to look at in the future. We only have a week. Oh, sorry. I'm saying <laughs> next time. Oh, next time. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it, it took till 12:30 either. I think we were all back at the shop. I want to say right between 12 and 12:30. Was it? Okay. There are groups that we have. You, so you guys home. finished right out here, right? We. I remember that. Yeah, but we started out. all the way down. And then we came in and got more paint, and then they saw the the need to do this middle. But I had older kids, so they were they were pretty fast. A little different. Yeah. I remember I finished at the lake. Like I I was like, all right, there's like five or six trees here. I'll just start, and we we worked towards the team. Should you say you need to know who was going to be there and who wasn't? Um, just to give, essentially, Kyle an idea of comfort level of 
that there will be some people out there that have a hand in running the operation. We are out of town that weekend. Right, and you're out of town. I'm out of town. I'll be there the 18th. You can put me on for the 19th. I can be there both days. I can be there the 18th, but I probably have to leave early, so I don't know if I'm any help. I just need Commissioner Gersh. I'm sure you I'll are. It's <laughs> okay. That's, uh, that was actually I'll be there at uh, 7.30. Justin. Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. Right on. You can get into at least one of the days. It's a little funny drive around a Cleveland Browns truck, though. Uh -huh. what it is. I'm going to point there. I'll tell you before. Okay, so I will follow up with Kyle on finding out if there are areas that he wants you guys to focus on and see if perhaps he can get together at least with Chairman Taddy to go over any any instructions from Public Works. Sounds good. And yeah. we'll get the map emailed and in. I'm sure I have it somewhere. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll we, we can find the map. Okay. Give him a chance to look at it and tell us where to focus. Were you there last year? Or you no. there? Okay. So there was a media release that we had the kids sign it, oh, for yeah. their photos mm -hmm. to be taken, right. and then a waiver, uh -huh. yeah. city waiver. Yeah, yeah we, we had to, we collected them and we yeah. handed them over to Sonny. That is yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so that was the first thing we I'll did was that. have them sign the waiver, get in their groups, and assign uh -huh. them a supervisor, and off they went. We're only doing the trees in, inside the walls, right? Not like the ones along Camelback or outside. That's my understanding. Just inside the walls, and it's only the trees within. You could you could kind of tell which ones are the city trees. They're within about three feet of the curb. Mm -hmm. Some of them are new, but for the most part, a lot of them are just older, the older trees. Yeah. Are there any other questions about that? I'm just going to say really quick, I'm going to reach out to a neighbor about getting the t-shirt, just to give you an nice. idea of, um, about pricing for maybe next year. Okay. You know, I mean, we have t-shirt people that we use for other things. It's just we have you got zero budget and zero idea of sizing and the amount of people. So yeah, for us to invest good. in getting them, we don't want to waste money that wasn't even originally available. Mm -hmm. so that's why I think moving forward, if we've got a better idea and can plan with a year's notice now, I think we'll be able to work on that and also work on sponsorships for them. One of the things that might be kind of practical with that is because you never know how many people are going to show up. Yeah. Just get the same shirt design. Don't say well, second annual, right. third annual. And like right. volunteer like on the back. Design. Right. Volunteer. Yeah, just big old yeah. volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we saw sizes or something. Yeah. Because otherwise, how do you ever know? Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's tough if you're working that's with hard. young kids yeah. and adults. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I have gloves. Small, medium, and large gloves. gloves. Yeah. So that was, yeah, they were like the blue gloves, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gloves, little paint cans, because mm -hmm. they need their own little paint cans instead of just. Yeah, and Kyle's going to do the smaller ones. He's not going to do the. The gown? What else did we, we need say would have been what helpful to have? Yes. I can't remember now. This is why you always got to do a survey. We have little right? like hands. You pour them into there. Yeah. Okay, that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. More like a bucket almost. Yeah. A big yeah. bucket. Yeah. 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 The ones we we'll oh, use with okay. I know paper towels. I had to go home and get my own paper towels. Oh, and paint stirrers because I went to Ace and they gave us a yeah. bunch of paint stirrers. Yeah. Now stirs. we're remembering. All <laughs> yeah. and, uh, it's good to okay. remember. That's what we're talking Lots about. Lots of water. Yeah. <laughs> Um, maybe some paint remover. Clean, yeah, maybe some cleanup <laughs> stuff, cause, and, and, and perhaps a, a word to the volunteers on be careful as you walk over driveways, especially yeah. paved driveways. So. Yeah. Yeah. Spill the paint in the street. <laughs> and then um, afterwards, I guess there would be, it would probably be worth, you know, do we still have ice cream sandwiches? From last year, they're probably not good. <laughs> Is there a little refreshment? A little snack. <clears throat> Sorry for refreshment. Okay. So if we think of anything else, I'm sure we could always just mm. share it with Kyle and go from there. Yeah, or email us. That'll work if you think of a a supply that we didn't go over today or a question. Yeah. Email us. Okay. Are there any other questions? Thank you, Trisha. 
So I guess this next one we would just skip then, or are you going to speak on it? <clears throat> so the next one is City Gateway Sign Information Update. It was um, Kyle Ames, Director of Public Works. Mm -hmm. I don't have any specific knowledge on this, so I would just say that whatever is in your agenda, please review it, and then if you have questions, get, get with Kyle, and I'm sure that we'll put this back on the April agenda, too, for mm -hmm. more specifics. So I'll, I'll move down to G then, just for the sake of, you know, not trying to go over an item that Kyle's just not here for. Creation of a new city park. Brian Faith, RPG Commissioner. Thank you. Let me keep this pretty brief today so that we can all have a chance to get out there. Basically, the city has this land in the map you can see that they uh, acquired in 2005. And it's kind of a weird stretch of land. It's grassy, it's got hills. I've driven past it a lot and thought, like, oh, it's kind of a median, not thinking much of it, but there's a fair amount of land there, and not like designated as a park or anything, so my initial thought was we could just put a bench out there, give it a name, and put it on the city website, which I did also include in the handouts, which are the rest of the parks that are listed on the city uh, website, and it says what kind of amenities they have there and things. So. I think there's opportunity here, at least to tell the citizens that you know, this is space that you can use. There's probably limited things you can do. The space that seems most open to do something with is at the north end. And it's, I went out and walked in it. I would encourage you guys to all go out and walk. I do yeah. almost every day with yeah. my dog. Yeah. Oh, right on. Okay. Yep. And then, I mean, my plan was we could talk about it you know, the next meeting we can think about it, or meeting after that as time allows, come up with ideas, concerns. You know, maybe it's a few different, because there's kind of like a few different areas, and you've got the road that comes in there. We can so there's got to be something we could do. Which, yeah. <laughs> I had no idea it was that much land, 1.3 acres. Mm -hmm. Probably just because it's so long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know it is yeah. deep in spots, like you said, at the northern end. And that's just the uh, on the assessor's website how big it says. I don't know if that includes like the setbacks from the road or anything, but holy cow! Nice spots. <laughs> <laughs> the ideas are flying. Dog parks. Yeah, dog park. Maybe squeeze a pickleball court in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe you move the. Uh, children's play sets from a different park so it opens up space or I don't know. It seems like a good opportunity if nothing else to just mm -hmm. give it a name and put it on the website. I like your idea about maybe a bench I mean because it's not a lot of mm -hmm. space there but maybe we could make this an uh, Eagle Scout project of cleaning up those trees because those trees are yeah. pretty like there's a lot of things living in the bottom of those trees. I know from taking my dog up there too. Yeah, there along the, yeah. along the wall. Mm -hmm. but cleaning that up, putting a couple benches there, like a reflection kind of park, mm -hmm. or you know, whether it's Palmer, I don't know what word I'm looking for, like Zen Park or mm -hmm. meditation. Yeah, you know, the, the the condos there face that. Mm -hmm. I realize they have like access the golf course behind, but we want to just make sure we're mindful of. Right. Yeah. Because that's their front yard mm -hmm. also. You know what I mean? We stayed in one of those when we got our house flooded. The kids love going across the street and playing this great little spot mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I remember I went down and found a whole knapsack and like a, it looked like somebody had made a little home there. You know, oh, yeah. And stuff. And yeah. They hop over the wall there. Mm hmm. It's funny because you could just walk around it if you wanted to. Now that we're looking at this part of the map, this totally unrelated. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. The median as you exit the end of there, that's how I usually get to and from work and everything. Almost every weekend, I find like two tall boy beer cans in that median there. It drives, it drives me nuts. I always find people just throwing their beer cans out in that little median out to Dyser. Yeah. 
Then I stopped and picked him up with my kids sold for recycling. But, <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. I, I see that a lot there. You see, see a lot of that litter around. They've been out partying. They're coming home, and they got to clean out the car. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm always about putting trash cans in, and I know that yeah. sounds yeah. so silly. No, there has to be a trash can. But them my so feel good, put their car, oh, beer cans yeah. out the window, right? In the my yeah. first year on this commission, that was my big thing, is to get trash cans yeah. around Villanueva from for people just leaving their dog poop bags. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and I think it's helped. I mean, 100%. I really do. 100%. So I don't mean to cut that off, but it's not an agenda item. Yeah. So I'm sorry, we got to... Okay. Back to the agenda item. I would like to make this a future uh, action item. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That on the yeah, the agenda is very good idea. And, and if there's any costs associated with part. designating a park, <laughs> yeah, I think we'll need to do kind of a lot of In research name. with it. If there's any restrictions on the land, yeah. if you yeah. got a the McCoy, the McCoy park. Park. I'll take it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like well, well, what rules or 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 go in the park? Court, can you transfer? What, what can I put can there? Name it or not? Yeah, McCoy <laughs> pickleball court. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Commissioner Faith, is there anything else you wanted to add before we ask for any other questions? Or? Nope. Think about it. And I didn't think everyone had already gone out there and looked at it. So, get out there and look at it if you haven't. Right on. Thank you for that. Hey, you guys aren't going to believe it. I wanted to make sure that if there's any like legal ramifications about designating the park, if there's anything mm -hmm. the city has to do. When, when it's an agenda item, we'd like mm -hmm. May I ask a question of um, Trisha? Of course. Will we be circling back with Kyle on the agenda items at our next meeting? Yeah, we said we would put them on for April. Okay. Thank you. Are there any other questions about, any questions for Commissioner Faith or about the park proposal? Not the proposal, the park discussion, potential park discussion, hopeful park. Under danger of claimed yeah. park space. I didn't realize it was that big. Okay, thank you again. Mm -hmm. Commissioners report on current events. Commissioner Fix. I have nothing to report. It's not on the agenda. No cover draw. No, we already covered that. <laughs> Commissioner Gertz. I uh, went to the uh, the Art and Wine Festival last weekend. That was really good. And if you maybe I'm saying this uh, but also to anyone who happens to read the notes or listen, um, if you're used to seeing the same art every year after year, I noticed a lot. There's a lot more turnover, and we're getting a lot more modern or digital art, and then those sorts of things in there. So, like, you know, it's it's not just the the same paintings and pictures you've been looking at the last five years. So I'd encourage you to. Uh, take a look at this one and the other festivals that are coming up because I've seen some more variety in the artists that, that come to that in the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Commissioner Faith? I did not make it to the Wine Art Festival this year. I don't have anything to report. All right. Thank you. Commissioner Schwartz? Well, since last we met, I also went to the, the Wine Art Festival, the Wigwam had an art festival, and uh, we also had the 5K here. Well, we're well-run events, well-attended. We have our usual beautiful weather for them, and uh, that's that's the fun time of year, you know, when you, mm -hmm. you go from the kids' basketball game to the 5K or to the art show, or they're doing the regatta down at the lake, and, you know, again, that's that's why we all like living in a place like this. Commissioner Colbreth. I also attended the fun run. Uh, that was a well-run event, so good job to the staff. I enjoyed it. Families out for that, and uh, also attended the Art and Wine Festival. It's a good time, so yeah. Vice Chairperson Phillips. My current event is sort of a full circle thing. So my daughter, her son, her husband, and little guy who grew up here are moving back here after 25 years in California. Uh, wow! Cool. Yeah. I'll be excited for you. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. I know. I mean, I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the end of the month, actually. That's great. That is yeah. awesome. So, 
Yep, she's back. <laughs> So I don't think I missed an event this time around. Always a blast to hang out. Um, the fun run, all the tatties except for me ran in it. Well, no, Tone didn't run in it, my son. He volunteered, though. He was handing out water up at uh, Old Litchfield and Campbell with uh, the Key Club or the Builders Club. I think it's Builders Club in um, Western Sky. But, I mean, all amazing events. I the more I look at the construction, the more I can't wait for the construction mm -hmm. to be done because I see the events and how crowded they are, and I just keep thinking to myself, man, this is going to be something special once mm -hmm. we move it over to the park. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be so so um, just expansive. And even the concerts on the lawn at the wigwam, you know, having an amphitheater and being able to project the sound out, it's just I think it's going to be so cool. So. That Can I interject a question along those lines? Yes, sir. When, but I keep getting asked this. When is the first projected date of any sort of use in the new city center? I don't know, but I'm going <laughs> to tell you that that's not something that is on the agenda. Right. I don't think yeah. we can. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -mm. We'll talk about it after. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's only one thing left. Motion to adjourn. I'll second. Are there any questions? All in favor of adjournment, say aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you, everybody. What a wonderful meeting. Should I? Gavel. Yeah. <laughs> that did hurt. There, there we go. go. <laughs> That's like you mean it. <laughs> right? Pretend you're a judge. Yeah, I'm not I know. sure. On the